What's up guys? I'm going to unbox and review this portable power station by Egritech. This is the Sonic 600 watt model. I also got the solar panel for it as well. So we'll try out a few things. I'll turn on a few devices, see if they charge. And we'll also charge with the solar panel to see how fast that charges, as well as charging with the normal power plug. Here's everything that comes inside the box. We'll start with the manual. It gives us some info in different languages and everything. Most notably, it gives us some examples, tells us what the buttons are, what the screen indicates, and some discharge times and things of that nature. We got the two plugs. We got the power adapter for the US plug, and we got the car adapter. So the nice thing about the power adapter is the AC to DC is built into this thing, so you don't need a separate brick with this thing, which is really nice. Turn on the power for a couple seconds, hold the power button, and it turns on. We got the DC buttons right here. We got the AC. So in order to use the AC, you need to turn on the AC. In order to use the DC, the USB-Cs and the USB-As, you need to turn on the DC. We got the photovoltaic, which is basically the solar could go in here, or the car adapter could go in here and charge that. And then the regular wall outlet would go there to charge it. You can also plug in car accessories and it would power that. And the same thing with the power port. Again, AC needs to be on for that to be on. And here's the back, we got a fan right here. We got an LED and an LED button, so we turn it on. I hit it again, it flashes. I hit it again, it flashes faster. And then I can repeat the process by just doing everything all over again, essentially hitting the button. And then this part is metal. The handle feels like it's plastic, but maybe there's metal underneath encased in the plastic, I don't know. But the handle itself does feel like it's plastic. And here are the specs if you guys wanna pause the screen and look at what it can output. And here is the 100 watt solar panel that goes along with it. We'll try charging it with this one as well. Packaged nicely. Definitely has some weight to it. So Velcro, open it up. You got the stands right here essentially. And six of these that open up all the way. And then there's some more stands as you open it. So let's look at the connections real quick as well. All right, so this thing looks like it's compatible with a whole bunch of other devices. So you have three, three ways of powering stuff. And so this would go basically in here and it would charge this thing up. So I got the solar panel set up and right behind it, I have it charging. All you literally need to do, even if this thing is off, all you literally need to do is just plug this in to the PV in and it'll start charging. So, and it gives you the number of watts and even the angle of the panels make a difference. So I'm currently getting 72 watts. I've seen it go as high as 81 or 82 watts. And um, again, if it's a cloudy day, the time of day, how well it's facing the sun, even the angle. So if I were to lower the panels a bit, it would actually drop as you guys could see so even the angle actually makes a difference. See, went back up. But super straightforward to set up. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the wall power just to see how fast that goes. It should be a lot quicker. So yeah, it's charging over 400 watts. So 407 watts right now, 406 watts. And it's gonna take about 27 minutes for this thing to fully charge at this rate. So much faster with the wall outlet and decently fast with solar. The advantage of the solar panel is you could pretty much take that anywhere. As long as there's sun, you should be able to charge. Now let's start charging some stuff up. So we'll start off with the phones as the most common thing. So I unplugged everything. We're at zero watts. I have two USB-Cs plugged into this thing as you guys could see right there. And we're going to plug this into the phone. Picks it up right away, starts charging, no issues, fast charging. Okay, the other one will plug into my other phone, my iPhone. Picks this up, starts charging, no issues. Okay, so now, while these phones are charging, I'm going to charge my MacBook. So, I'm gonna, let's plug it in like this. So that my laptop is charging. You guys can see that with the light. If I unplug this, light goes away. Plug it in, light goes on. So it starts charging my MacBook and this thing is going to go much higher. So it looks like we're charging at about 100, I wanna say 180 watts, but I'll say 179 watts just to be exact. Okay, so 
that's the number of wattages that we're using. Now, so you could use DC and AC at the same time. Now, if you're wondering, if this device is charging, can I still use these ports? Well, let's find out. And it looks like the AC turned off, but it looks like I could still use the DC. But because I'm charging with AC, it looks like it can't charge my laptop at the same time. Okay, so that's a question that maybe some of you guys might have had, but it looks like because I was charging with AC, it looks like my AC turned off and I couldn't use it. Okay, now in case you guys are wondering, if you're charging via solar, you could use the DC and the AC at the same time, just as a heads up. So I'll turn AC back on, and now I got my Milwaukee battery, which I use for my, well, various tools, not just my drill or my impact wrench, but various other tools. And this thing starts charging, no issues, while the phones are charging. And obviously for the phones, you could charge the tablets as well. So pretty much anything you can think of really with USB-C, this should in theory be able to charge. So it charges this up, no issue. So tool batteries like this, fantastic, 119 watts right now. And now I'm gonna unplug this. And then I'm going to bring, one of the main reasons why I like this thing is because I go to the park with my kids and we take our RC cars from Traxxas. Traxxas makes some pretty cool RC cars. And we go run it, and then after a while, we just plug in the batteries, charge it up, and run it again. So I'm going to hold this button. It's gonna start charging this battery, and then I'm gonna hold this button, and it's gonna start charging up this battery. Now the fan you're hearing is actually from the Traxxas charger. It's not from this charger, although this one, also has a charger as well. But this is kind of one of the beauties of having this thing. It's very portable, it's very easy. And again, if I'm taking some RCs, it, so obviously for camping, this thing's awesome. If, if you're gonna go somewhere, be there for a while, you could take the solar panel, keep this thing charged as well. So there's a lot of benefits to having this, but even if I'm not going to use my solar panel, I can just take this to the park, just have this thing charged, take this to the park, and I could charge up my RC batteries while I'm there as well. So that's kind of one of the benefits of having this, uh, aside from going camping. And also another benefit of this is if I wanna run something in the backyard where I don't have power access, as long as it doesn't take a whole lot of power, I can power it with this as well. So the fact that you have a lot of freedom with this is really, really awesome. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.